So Sonal, you've been in, I don't know, like four or five countries now. And as an immigrant, and I know that in one place you said you didn't know the language, but you ended up having... Multiple places, Spanish and then in Europe, French. Yeah, and then you ended up having a job. So as an immigrant or international student, sometimes here they don't know how to tell their story or they struggle to find jobs. What can you tell in terms of finding jobs or job search journey besides what we talk about, about importance of LinkedIn and networking? Yeah, yeah. Um, there's so many advances and features in LinkedIn today that didn't exist in 2005 mm. when, my, when I first left India and moved to South America. So I'm just going to share a quick snippet. It's a little bit LinkedIn related, but it's also, I mean, my mind was blown and yeah. you know, that 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 moment changed my life literally people say it changed my life it changed my life it changed the entire trajectory of my career so um january 2005 newly married mm -hmm. accompanied my husband from india to south america so we mm -hmm. first lived in uruguay and then we lived in chile mm -hmm. now everybody told me um you want to be in hr but in here we don't hire um you have lots of problems firstly you don't speak a word of spanish Secondly, for HR, you need to have studied psychology. It's just the way the the system is. And you've studied sociology. And I was like, how does that matter? That was years ago. Yeah. Apparently, it mattered. So, and thirdly, my friend circle was like, it's fine. You know, let your husband do the, the work and bring in the income. Why don't you come with us? We have all these events organized for spouses, for wives. So it fueled me further, right? So firstly, you're going to get the fact that you have chosen to fly and go out of your comfort zone yeah. means by default, rejection is going to become your best friend. Mm -hmm. Might as well get used to it. Yeah. And not take it too personally every time because every time you take it personally, the recovery is harder. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to pick up more and it's more difficult, right? So um, I remember LinkedIn was very new at that time. Mm -hmm. So early days, I'm talking 2005, almost 20 years ago. I did a basic search. The filter is so advanced today. And the filter back then was so simple. But it was basically a search on, we had just moved to Santiago. Um, and I, so this is a very important thing. If you're in a country where it's not your native language, make effort to learn and learn fast. Yeah. So one of the ways you can do it is learn in an organized classroom. I didn't, we didn't have apps. There was no Duolingo mm -hmm. at that time, right? Yeah. But that was expensive. I remember whatever I was earning, I was spending in these classes, you know, Berlitz. I was teaching English and I was learning Spanish and there was no, mm -hmm. there were no savings there. But the second thing is volunteer your time because now suddenly you have this time that you didn't have before. And one thing you can do is volunteer. You don't need a work permit for it. Nobody will stop you. Yeah. But but volunteer in an area that interests you. It yeah. doesn't have to be, you know, do goody goody if you know, you know Mother Teresa are out. You don't want to do that. No problem. Yeah. But there's lots of data that says that LinkedIn, um, hiring managers on LinkedIn, 41% view volunteer experience at the same level as paid experience. Oh, wow. Nice. So why not? You know, why not add that? So um, what I did was that simple search I did. Okay, here we are in Santiago. I don't know a soul. Mm -hmm. Who here is, I don't know, I think at that time you could see where have they lived before or what is their nationality. I don't think that exists anymore, no, but no. back then it did. And I wanted to see who is here from Uruguay because we had spent one year in Uruguay. Who is here from Uruguay who lives in Santiago? So I looked at the search results. There was this interesting guy called Mar Marcelo. And I wrote to him. I said, I'm here. I'm from your country. I don't know anyone. How are you? Why don't we meet? Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'd love to. Can I bring my fiance? I said, oh, okay. Let me bring my husband. So we had yeah. a lunch. Took them out. Nothing happened. Forgot all about it. Five months later, I get a call from PwC, PricewaterhouseCoopers. And they want to interview me. And I said, how did you get my, my resume? And they said, um, the partner. I'm like, I don't know any partner there. It turns out his daughter was that guy's fiance. Oh, wow. And they interviewed me. It was in Spanish. I was shaking. <laughs> I had learned a lot. I had yeah. tried my hardest to become fluent as quickly as possible. So that was one year. Yeah. And people say, oh my gosh, you're so smart. You know, when you don't have a choice. You have to. Yeah. You, you go. 
you go because what else are you going to do yeah. in it's not like parts of europe where you know it's quite cosmopolitan everybody speaks english no no if you don't speak the local language you're dead you're dead you're out out of the game <laughs> so that changed my like my life because mm-hmm. i was suddenly in this role doing amazing things in this company in consulting and advisory that i had never done before so the the learning curve was massive and it was in spanish that helped me to stand out when i was doing my mba applications and suddenly i was international mm-hmm. i'd never been international before and and one thing led to another and look where i am today yeah. so it just comes down to firstly not like every time you get a rejection yes feel bad but not for too long yeah get up dust off move on make lots of friends mm-hmm. and you never know you talked about follow up i'm a big fan of follow up fortune is in the follow up but at the risk of sounding like i'm breaking my own rules i forgot about that meeting because nothing happened yeah but you know if i had followed up maybe it would have been sooner than later so yeah. never underestimate the contacts you make and and you know you talked about comments on linkedin as well game changer but yeah. be strategic right because otherwise you're going to burn out you yeah. want to do everything and be every you know be everything to everyone but when you're in a new country surround yourself with mm. ambitious people yeah. don't listen to people who say it's never been done you have need a work permit sorry it's not going to happen it doesn't matter how much authority that person has i remember i i interviewed with a guy in the center of santiago very senior gentleman he said you won't get any job here but why don't we have a bet come back after one year and let's see what happens and i was so hurt i i finished that meeting i came home i was crying i was like what is this unfriendly country etc yeah i showed him later but never yeah. went back because why why are these people getting energy from telling others you can't do something maybe because he's never been outside his own country right okay. yeah. so you want to be with people who have already broken the mold and they tell you shit you know okay. sorry today was oh. tough <laughs> let's you know it'll let, let, it'll get better tomorrow i've been there i've got you so that makes a big difference yeah. to support yeah thank you for sharing your story and it shows that resilience and never give up which i feel that a lot of in new immigrants sometimes from first rejection or they come with high hopes or this is my dream job and i didn't get accepted what happened i something is wrong with me you know i tell them you know every rejection you learn something new don't take it personal as you mentioned exactly and you have to remember your alternative right people say the why i say okay instead of the why if you can't imagine the why it's too philosophical for you mm-hmm. what is the alternative going back home is yeah. that a, is that a is that a viable option for mm-hmm. us it wasn't mm-hmm. we were still in our 20s i still wanted to prove that i could do things yeah yeah so if you're you know if you're ambitious that also motivates you yeah. what you don't want yeah those are great tips thank you so much for again for the audience watching or listening if you have any other tips leave them below so tune in next time for another great question with sona Thank you.